Hey, hey, Kosani here with Xenonauts. Alright, before we dive in here, I, I just want to cover a couple things real quick. I think I fixed the mic, mic volume. Hoo-ha. Basically had to graduate from MIT to uh, get that under control, but we got it. Um, so I want to cover what kind of mods am I using for this game. The only thing I'm using is the Community Edition add-on mod, whatever. It's basically a... You can almost consider it a DLC because it was helped along by the developers of the game and it basically um, it randomizes maps it gives you more map options it um, instead of ha getting like the sa same stale maps you'll have will have a lot more variety and it has a lot of bug fixes in it um, so I just want to get that out of the way so this is very much a vanilla game we're not really getting any extra help um, I did a little house cleaning in this game, I went through and I customized my classes like exactly what I want each class to use, um, like the default equipment. Um, it was just some boring stuff that I took care of off camera. I might take care of more stuff off camera, and I might not even record every battle. It just it depends on how it goes. Um, speaking of recording, I had an issue where one of my recordings stopped recording for no reason. And this is like, like I said, this is not a game that I can just load back and go back and then pick up where I left off. There, There is no loading in this game. So I, if I'm going to try my best to watch my recording, make sure it's always recording when I want it to. If it's not, if it cuts off, if there's gaps in the, in the uh, videos, I apologize. Um, and then last of all, I'm super nervous. Like I haven't played, I told you guys I was pretty good at this game and I, I, I was and I, I am. Um, uh, but just the, I haven't played in, I don't know, well over a year, and just the, now the added, added excitement of having an audience, um, and then I used to have like a build down, I used to have it written down like what exactly I bought, at what time, when, um, now I'm just kind of, I'm kind of free, I'm kind of free balling it here, um, because, I don't know, I, I don't want to do all that. Uh, anyway, alright. So, we just need to speed time along a little bit here. We're going to see what happens in the world. Oh, we got a UFO right on top of our base. Alright, so we're going to intercept it. Send one of our condors out, our fighter jets. And again, I'm speeding up time here. So this is the air combat mini game. It's in real time, but you can pause and you can control the speed. I'm not gonna get too into it, but I I do want to. Some people don't like this mini game, but I feel like it just adds another layer to the game, like another and just another piece that you have to master to be able to truly call yourself a Xenonauts pro like me. Anyway, so this is our UFO. This is our fighter. We're gonna unpause. The first thing I do um, against these light scouts, the first thing I'm gonna do, turn off your missiles because you don't you want to fire them when you want to fire them. And then these cones represent our range, right? Like this, the cannon on this scout is this far. We have two cones. This narrow cone is our auto gun. This thing, our auto cannon. And then the wider cone is our uh, sidewinder missiles. Alright, so about right when we get in range, we slow all the way down, we unleash our auto cannon. he's going to fire his cannon, oh, I messed that up, we would do the evasive maneuver, but we fire the first torpedo, he's going to do his evasive maneuver, and then as soon as the animation is about complete, then we unleash the second one, and it should be a direct hit, and that's it, light scout crashes. Now we did take some unnecessary damage on that, and that was a mistake by my part. And it's going to take time to repair that. So we'll see if this uh, ends up being a problem later on. Alright, so... Oh my god, we do not want to get there. We've got a crashed UFO. We do not want to get there when it's dark. And I think... I think if we leave now, we'll get there around daytime. So we want to check the crash site. It's in the desert. I always check this because um, different tile sets, like there's desert, arctic, industrial, farm, um, they 
sometimes can have tendencies. For example, desert, it tends to be more wide open, which means I would prefer long range weapons and maybe bring in just a little extra cover, like maybe an extra shield, maybe. Um, so I always take this into account, the terrain. Anyway, going, oh yeah, one thing I forgot. Um, so I came in here and I, I got all of our soldiers together. I, I equipped them the way I wanted them. And then I noticed like our starting accuracy is really not good. I'd prefer to see more dark green, more higher numbers. Uh, the good news is, and I should have done this already, um, some of our new, uh, some of these recruits, these privates that we can recruit do have good starting stats. Like this is a pretty good guy right here. And when I'm recruiting, I, d I tend to, f to value time units the least, but just because they're the easiest to increase. And then maybe bravery, because bravery is difficult as hell to increase. And like, I feel like it doesn't make that big of a difference. Um, if our, our soldiers freak out, and they'll, you'll lose control of them. Uh, but with the higher bravery, they shouldn't. But I, I feel like it, I feel like the stat is not that useful. So we're not going to prioritize bravery. What we are going to prioritize right now is accuracy, because we need it. Now this guy has good accuracy, but the rest of his stats are eh. Not, not terrible, but um, I'm definitely taking this guy. Um, this one. And we are gonna t we're gonna max out our living space on new recruits because we're gonna start training for our second base. I'm gonna run two ground teams, and the reason for that is is that we need to collect a lot of alien materials to be able to um, forge the end game equipment that we want. Let's go ahead and hire these guys. It's gonna give me new guys so I can kind of see. Okay, so we're running out of good stats here. Um, God, I don't never take anybody in the 30s. How about... This one's... Well... Also, when a private levels up to a corporal, they get a pretty good stat bonus uh, uh, for all uh, attributes, so we'll take that into effect strength so this will be a this would be a sniper kind of guy um, a little indecisive here let's take mm -hmm. alright I'm just gonna pick one this will be a shield guy because he won't have no any accuracy but his, the rest of his stats is pretty decent all right, so let's figure out who's going to go. I said it was going to be a, more of a wide open, so we'll take, we'll definitely take our sniper. All of our assaults I gave shields, and then our shields have shields as well. But our assaults have shotguns in addition to the shields. So let's do, we, we, the shotguns won't be as useful in the open desert until we get to the UFO, which is more close quarters combat. Um, rifle, rocket. Let's see, who do we want to take? Shield, shield, assault, rifle, rifle, sniper. Let's do this. We don't take our sergeant. We'll take this guy and see when I hired these guys we don't get them for 72 hours and I, but I, w I would like to use them as soon as possible all right let's go ahead and intercept we'll zoom out we'll speed time up a little bit yeah so this is outside of our uh, radar range down here it'll kind of tell you there's a lot of flavor text and stuff I'm not gonna get too far I'm not gonna like read it to you or anything you can pause the video if you really want to read it all right, so I'm gonna I'm watching this darkness, so we're gonna get there in the light. We just can't we can't do anything about this, like and this is eating into our um, funding. Now look in the top right, or so South America, a predicted change negative seventeen thousand dollars. That's the result of these two things, these two occurrences. 
So um, that's why we're building the base over there. All right, so here we go. We're going to engage. Hopefully that's first battle doesn't descend into a fireball on the first turn at least. All right, first thing we want to do is find the borders of the map. It's right here. We're in this corner right here. So we're going to go this way. Um, let's take, take a peek out. All right, we got help. This is a military base in the desert, looks like. It may not be as open as, as I was expecting. We're going to reveal the map as we go. Try to be as conservative as, as we can, but I don't want to bore you guys to death with a million turns. Um, let's... Alright, we have three shields. This is the... This shield is actually the assault, because he's got the shotgun. And I think this one is a... The other two shields are handguns. Okay, so I just want to keep track of who's got what. Oh, we got we got a lot of help up here, so we can maybe be a little more aggressive. Um, so if there's aliens over here, these guys are going to get shot first. So and we'll crouch to reduce the chance of being hit. I'm afraid this shield can you send this way or this way. This is what we'll do. We'll start here. This shed, I don't know if this shed connects to this stuff, like if there's another exit. There could be an alien in there, we don't know. And these guys. Sorry, we got a machine gunner. Let's do this right here. Sniper. Uh, God, I hope there's not an alien back here. But we want to use cover and crouch. Uh, now, if those numbers you see popping up, that's how many time units we're using. Basically, it represents how fast your person is, like how much they can do in one turn. Each kind of shot takes different time units, as you can see. Every kind of gun has their own modifiers attached to them. Um, let's do this. Let's bring Sniper over here. Let's bring our machine gun right here. We're gonna kind of keep him so he can hit several areas. I hope that this first turn is a disaster. Okay, okay, there's somebody right here. Sounded like the civilians. The first type of one of the first type one of the first two types of aliens. They're shitty because they're kind of tough and they regenerate. This, you see me like turning my character to get different vision. Even that costs costs uh, time units. So you really have to watch what you're doing. All right, we're gonna come up here. We're gonna peek in here real quick. All right, so there is a door there, but I don't see any aliens. Oh god, there's the freaking there's the UFO. All right, so let's. Back up a little bit. Make sure we leave ourselves enough time units to turn around and crouch. There's an alien over here somewhere. I'd like to at least get eyes on it. I don't think there's one in here. It would already shot at us. You kind of use clues. Okay, so we we see our first. This shield can see through the fence and through this gate or this booth, and we can see our first. Our first contact here. Um, what was I? What was I saying before? I was gonna say something. I forgot. All right, so we'll keep eyes on this guy. I really wanna aggressively, cause he's turned this way. Now, if the, if the alien is is facing us, they have a chance of taking a reaction shot. All right, there's a dead guy right there. So one of the one of our uh, NPCs got killed. All right, let's go this way. Oh yeah. Anyway, so you want to use clues as you unreal un as you reveal the map. You find stuff that can point towards an alien. 
Like we heard screams. We saw these guys shooting at somebody, so I knew there was an alien over here. If I saw this door open, it could be an alien. It could be a soldier. So you gotta be smart. Okay, we don't have enough time units to crouch. That's fine. We're gonna put. I'm gonna put this guy. God, I hope there's not an alien in here. Nope. Okay, so we're gonna. I'm gonna bring him in here because I plan on bringing him here next turn in case this becomes a nasty fight. We can use him to shoot out this window. Now see, I can get this machine gunner in here, but then I don't know if he has enough time units to... I forget how many time units it takes to shut a door. So I want to be able to shut the door. I don't want to die here. Can we... we have enough time units? I do have... I'm, so I'm going to try to suppress this guy with a uh, flashbang. And it didn't work. Fantastic. Let's not get too hasty here. Let's crouch to again reduce chances of being hit. Let's bring him in here actually. I know he'll have the time units to get where I need him. Oh shit. I was sitting there crouching the whole time. That was a mistake. I meant to be right clicking. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm a little rusty on this game. Alright, let's do this right here. Get him out of any kind of line of fire. And oh my god, I just know there's aliens hanging around here. This is going to be a disaster. These guys don't have a whole lot of firepower. It's a pistol and a... Well then, let's do this. Let's bring him over here. If anybody pokes their head out, Maybe we'll stand a chance. All right, who's got time units left? Our sniper. I really don't want to do anything with her. Ugh, I hate blind corners. All right, well, there's not much else we can do. Let's freaking stick our thumb up our butt and pray. God, he got a kill and then got out of sight. Did you see? Did you guys see that alien over there? Saw him for a split second. He's right there, maybe? Uh, this is gonna get ugly. Let's just sweep the rest of the map. Alright, here's the edge of the map this way. Peek around the corner. Get a nice, uh, coverable position behind all these missiles that, that couldn't backfire at all. Um,. So the alien ran this way. Can I get here? I want to get closer. I want to be able to see this guy. Um, now the civilians, like I said, they can regenerate and they're a little tough, but the downside to them is they're not, they're probably the, one of the least accurate. Their eyesight's not good. They have little beady lizard eyes, I guess. Um, where's this other soldier? Where'd this other soldier go? Did he run in here? I want to be able to use him as a shield. Um, so th this alien could be right here. Let's do this. We're going to be conservative here. I'm already stressed out, guys. Let's bring our shield back and hopefully he don't get shot in the back. Okay. Bring our sniper back. Please don't get shot in the back. Okay. Now our shields can take a little bit of a little bit of damage. So if this guy, uh, all right. Can we see him? Let's set up a. Let's do this right here. Can I see him? I oh, can't see him. All right, uh, who's got time units left? This guy. Okay, the soldier went in there. Let's do... Let's do... Let's keep him where he's at. All right, end turn. Okay, I don't know if he hit me or not. 
All right, we got a reaction fire. Didn't do shit. Didn't even hit him. Didn't suppress him. Nice. A nice waste of bullets. Yes, yeah, he didn't hit. He didn't hit my shield at all. And we know he's right here. Let's see if we can. Su but he did suppress. He's so suppression automatically when it happens it automatically drains all of your time units and then the next turn you only have high, half of your time units so we'll do this right here again hiding behind missiles live for danger I think this alien ran over here fantastic I don't like this man He's, he could just be right there kind of peek out here and see what else is going on. See if he's got any of his buddies out here. Alright, we're about to find out how much it takes to open and close the door. Six time units. Alright, so I can, at least I can... Let's come right here. God, I know this is a bad idea. We kind of have to, we have to start, we have to push though. Like we can't just sit here and shoot at each other all day. I'm going to put this guy right here. Hopefully he doesn't come right here and shoot me in the back. He'd like, well he can't see him. He'd likely shoot at the shield before that. And then this guy will bring right here. If, he's, if he hangs around, he's going to get shot at. Good, good, good. One, two, three, four. Okay. Our other team. I kind of split in teams of... Like, I split and send two teams in two different directions. Um, I just know he's right there. But... What what can I do about it? Not a hell whole hell of a lot. All right, let's see what happens. God, just suppress him. Oh, cool. Or kill him, even better. Oh God. Oh God, he's gonna. Sh okay, and there's one in the elevator or one in the, the elevator. It's got an elevator door. All right, so he didn't have enough time units to run here and shoot my guy in the back. That's good. We should be able to kill him this turn. I saw that alien, it didn't have the black armor on that these guys do, which tells me it was a non-combatant, which they just have a pistol, which can definitely still kill you, but it's not quite as scary. Alright, so, got a couple options here. We can shoot with these guys, we can shoot with this guy, we can shoot with him. Now here's the thing though, if I shot with this guy, that, that alien is facing, facing that direction, so even as soon as I turn around much less shoot at him, he has a chance of reaction firing right back at me. So what we want to do is, uh, react, is uh, shoot with those behind first. He'll turn around if he gets hit. Nice. Two misses, great. Um, let's do this. So I don't know. Yeah, we'll take the highest percentage shot every time. Should be a hit. And then got another shot. 55%. Nice, two hits. Alright, um Now he still has a chance. I think he still has a chance to reaction fire. Even if he's turned around. Alright, 78%, here we go. Ah, how much is he gonna take? But at least I got him to turn around. And then this, I could, I could do a, a burst shot. 29% chance each. Or I could just take the 83. Might just do this. Okay. Down. You gotta watch your ammo too. Alright. And then, so, oh yeah, I use this. I use this um, flashbang that I had in my hand. And I want to go ahead and put another one in there before I actually need it.
Because even if something as simple as taking a something like a grenade from your belt and just putting it in your hand costs time units. So you got to think ahead too. I should have done that a turn or two ago. All right, so this we're gonna step out here and see what's going on. I haven't noticed any other aliens. It doesn't mean they're out there. We're almost out of time units, so we're just gonna come back. Always got to make sure you save enough for uh, being able to get into cover. All right, so it doesn't look like there are any more, it's like, except for in the UFO. So we're gonna we're gonna start pushing aggressively. All right, I didn't use my sniper. Let's bring her up. And I think that's everybody. Yep. Why don't you help, you son of a bitch? Fucking pussy. Alright. So we're gonna come up here, peek our head around this corner. We're gonna put ourselves against this wall and face this way so this guy can't shoot us. And, um, like the shield, if, you, if you're taking fire, facing which direction you like taking fire from the directions you're facing it'll always hit the shield but if you're taking fire from the side like your chance to block goes down so we always want to face the most likely direction that fire is going to come from alright alright peeking around the corners peeking around the corners trying to just see any, see any stragglers I don't want to be too too gung ho here and just assume that this is the last one. That's a great way to die. It's a great way to save time. It's also a great way to lose your soldiers. And again, um, I actually didn't mention this in the last video, but there, uh, there's perm permadeath in this game. You lose somebody, they're dead. Like there's a small chance that they'll revive at the end of the battle, but it's not. It's not a good chance. All right, let's look in the window here. I don't think there's anybody in there. Aliens, they can camp out. These were kind of active, but they can camp in buildings. It just especially sucks if you're in an urban environment and they're on the second story taking pot shots and shit at you. It's just, it just can be annoying. But that's what the Rocket Man's for. Alright, this is my. We're gonna. We're gonna come right up here. So again, I don't. I don't care a whole lot about taking damage on my shield. I just want to minimize my risks by taking cover. All right, and turn. He's not even going to take a shot. Now, this is what I do. I usually, um, for these UFOs, first I try to blow the door off. Just because, see, on their turn, they can open the door, take a shot, and then close the door. Um, so you want to take that ability away from them. We're gonna try to shoot, eat our way through this damn door. She's gonna come right here. You gotta watch out, because you can shoot your own guys too, which is real fun. Hopefully, there's nobody in this room. I, I'm fairly certain there's nobody left. Alright, let's pull our shield. I'm gonna pull my shield right, way up here. And the reason for that is if this guy does come out and take a shot at him, he'll be exposed and I don't, I'm don't. i fairly confident that he won't eat all the way through that shield and kill that soldier all in one turn. Alright, let's bring the shield right here. So I'm getting in range. And then uh, our guys can actually start taking reaction fire shots. If we have time, time units left over, just like the aliens get reaction shots, we get reaction shots too. That's where the reflex stat comes in. All right, let's uh, end turn. Ain't gonna do nothing. All right, let's. Uh... All right, so 54 to do that, but then I'd have to turn around, and he'll be facing me. So I don't. I don't want to do that. And we're going to have to reload on our next shot. Which is fine. Alright, 
Let's do this right here. This door can only take so much. Alright, I don't want you to get shot, so why don't you come over here for a second? Of course. Damn. Store's taking a beating. Alright, who else we got left? I don't want to use all my firepower. Because when the door does break down, I want to be able to take some shots here. Who's left? Alright, we'll save him for reaction fire in case we need it. Alright. He's just not going to come out. Because, yeah, once I break the door down, this guy can peek around the corner and. Blah, 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 blah. Right up the asshole. Oh yeah, there we go. That's what I want. Doors down. He's suppressed. Now, unless there's another alien in there, which is very possible, should be in good shape. So he can't. He can't fight a uh, reaction shot when he is suppressed. All right. Mission. First mission successful, guys. These are the alien technology that we acquired. Um. Just kind of some stats. Surviving uh, civilians and local forces. Bad. Who gives a shit? Our guys survive. That's all I care about. And then we get some money for selling shit. And our stat bonus is here. And uh, oh, first mission well done. Let's pack it up and head home, boys. This is our now our new research projects. We picked this shit up and we're going to look at it. We're going to try to reverse engineer it. And, uh, well, uh, that's about it. We'll see you guys next time. Kosani out.